Pakistan has conducted overnight military attacks inside Iran, two days after Iran conducted strikes inside Pakistani territory. Islamabad had earlier recalled its ambassador to Tehran and prevented the Iranian ambassador from returning to his post. All this after Iran carried out strikes against what it called terrorist targets late Tuesday across the border in Pakistan, an attack that Islamabad said killed two children. This is video from a local human rights organization and it's said to show the aftermath of the attack. <coughs> And joining us now from Islamabad is journalist Matiullah Jan. Mr. Jan, can you tell us more about the targets that have been struck and why they have been struck? Well, a foreign office statement has been released and now. Uh, it is uh, unusual because normally with such kind of uh, military actions, uh, we hear from the military spokesman that is called as Director General Inter-Services Public Relations. But this time about this military operation, we are hearing from the Foreign Office that says that Pakistan undertook a series of highly coordinated and specifically targeted precision military strikes against terrorist hideouts in Sistan of Balochistan province of Iran. And this press release say a number of terrorists were killed during the intelligence-based operation codenamed Margabar Samach Shah. Right. And uh, a Pakistan spokesman has complained about uh, the lack of uh, redressal of uh, complaints over the past many years about presence of anti-Pakistan terrorist groups on Iranian territory. And this uh, spokesman statement reminds uh, uh, the Iranian government about those complaints that Pakistan has been making. And it says that uh, Pakistan fully respects the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Right. Well, this is exactly... Uh, Kind of a, a copy uh, uh, reaction from uh, a statement uh, to what Iranian government had said after attacking inside Pakistani territory. And Iranian government had also tried to explain that this was not an attack on Pakistan, but on some Iranian uh, terrorist group who were present in Pakistan. Well, this was uh, certainly a very ridiculous uh, clarification coming from Iranian government. Right. And therefore now what we see is after Pakistan strikes back, Pakistan is also trying to give a reason for this strike in spite of the fact that this was clearly a retaliation, a response, a reaction to what Iranian government has done. But right. in spite of that, Pakistani government is trying to give its own reason for uh, reacting like that. But, but Mr. John, Iran and Pakistan both claim to have essentially attacked militants that want an independent Balochistan. Why aren't we seeing more cooperation between the two countries against what would appear is a common adversary? Well, this is what Pakistan has been stating all along. And Pakistan's first complaint in this regard was that Pakistan and Iran were already having close communication and they, all the communication channels were open before Iranian attack took place. So uh, this was also surprising for uh, the Pakistani officials as well. Uh, especially uh, with reference to a meeting that took place between Pakistan's caretaker prime minister in Davos with the Iranian foreign minister. And that attack, uh, Iranian attack, took place uh, reportedly two hours after that meeting. And there was no <clears throat> advanced communication or advanced alert from the Iranian authorities of any such action. So therefore, in spite of all the cooperation that we also saw in the form of a a military, a naval exercise that concluded only a day before the naval exercise between Iran and Pakistan. Right. And um, uh, apparently there were delegations of uh, Pakistan uh, uh, and Iran uh, visiting each other only a day before the Iranian attack. So this was certainly a surprise for the Pakistani official, but it right. seems that Iranian government has uh, become desperate after a lot of international response, military response to some of the groups in Yemen right. and um, Iraq. Uh, that, um, so therefore, Iran was desperate uh, ahead of right. uh, its own election to show to its people that Iran was uh, very much determined uh, to defend its interest. And right. uh, they tried to uh, prove their point by attacking apparently a harmless target in Pakistan. But that right. killed um, many children, uh, about four, uh, two of them right. uh, injured and two of them killed. Yeah, right. So I think this uh, Pakistan, Iranian government uh, couldn't, uh, you know, right. prove we anything by doing this. And now the ball is in their court. Right. Thanks so much for joining us today. Mathieu Lajan from Islamabad. Thank you, sir.